Morning. We're uh, here at the farm. I want to do a quick video. I'm building a heavy use area for the FSA, NSA, USDA, all the alphabet soup agencies that are involved. Um, they've got me building an area for the cattle. And I'll flip this around so you can see. There's a chicken coop and the barn over there in the hay pile. And there, of course, is the cattle. So we're tired of dealing with mud, and I've decided we're uh, we're going to take advantage of this opportunity and do this. It's going to be larger than what they originally planned. There's my new waterer. I ended up buying a Richie water. We'll see how that works. This is a 46 by 142 in theory, if I end up going the full 142, I think we are. Uh, heavy use area. You got three courses of block on this end, this is a manure storage area. Um, calculations show it's going to hold over 500, actually it's going to be with the six foot walls, it'll be six, 650 as far as cubic yardage of manure and compost. And then uh, that end down there will be the loafing area. By the ATV right there is going to be a gate. This will be a uh, runway down through here where they'll go out into the pasture. I'll have a loading area somewhere right here by this pond. We had some rain this week finally. Um, so we can load cattle easily and have a sorting area out here. The way I understand it, they're primarily concerned with the cattle being fed here. So over there on that end where there's no blocks, beside the skid steer, is going to be a 71 foot feed wall. We'll do a 18 inch high. Um, they called for a 6 inch wall. I think we're going to try and do an 8 inch wall. All kinds of rebar in it. And then a pad on the outside of that where I'll... I'll unroll bales instead of using the feeders. Um, I'll probably still have a, a feeder in here because I'm concerned about those guys and their horn lengths. They're uh, being mostly highlands. They have a hard time with feeders. I'm walk along this wall here. Try not to fall off. So the plan is once this is done, I won't need that anymore i've been screening all my compost because we're scraping it up off the ground and getting all kinds of gravel and stones in it so hopefully we no longer have to do that so i ended up uh, sneak around this block um, down here where the water is going to come in I had figured we were going to do something like this years ago, but long before we built my mother-in-law's place right there. And way over there at the end of that chicken coop is uh, a riser with two one-inch water lines and 220 volts of electricity coming into it, which currently is feeding that chicken condo, which that's coming out of here. And the plan is we will build a chicken Taj Mahal over here where the junk pile is. So the chickens will have access to the compost piles, but we'll be further from the house. We don't have chickens roosting on our deck. And probably the pigs will go near them as well. So they have access to the acorns down there in the oak grove. But meanwhile, we'll bring water and electric to this pole. And I sleeved water and electric across so that pile of dirt over there with a conduit sticking up. I'll put another riser over there so we'll have a place for water and electric to the chickens and future pigs. And I have a Kwanzaa hut to go up somewhere over there once I move a bunch of junk and put that up, which will hold our hay equipment. And it may hold a bagger for the compost. I've got an opportunity to buy a bagging system to bag compost and sell it by the pallet or by the bag, which if I'm going to be doing all this compost anyway, I probably ought to be bagging it and taking advantage of the fact there's a much larger markup in bagging and it'd be something to do in my spare time. So that's what this is. 
Just wanted to uh, post a video this week. We're planning on pouring it. We will uh, hopefully do more videos as we get ready to pour and get it poured. So you'll be seeing some more. Have a good day.